Hi everyone, it's Wild Rose. Welcome back to my channel. I really hope you are well today. Today, the snow has melted forever. Well, at least until next winter anyway, but doesn't it look so much better and fresher? I just love it so much. So now I can start to build up the island and really make it look amazing. I don't think it really looks that great when it snows, to be fair. Uh, thanks for the letter, Phoebe. Nintendo have given us all a pocket present. Um, <laughs> I call them pocket presents. Um, to celebrate the release of the new update. Oh, mushroom mural. Okay, so yeah, so Nintendo released the Mario Kart, Mario Kart or the Mario um, furniture set. I'm not that clued up on Mario. I do like it. Um, I've had uh, of various Donkey Kong games in the past. I have had um, the, uh, what do you call the racing game? All the Mario Karts, like the Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart 3DS. Um, I can't actually remember the one for the Switch even though I have it. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> um, oh, cute. I like the purple shade. It's kind of nice. That goes with my furniture. I think I'm going to keep that for a little bit, to be fair. Um, like I mentioned in my previous video, I love to change my wallpaper like, on a daily basis. Uh, so I'm going to change my outfit. Um, but yeah, they released the new Mario Kart, I keep calling it Mario Kart, sorry, the Mario set. And uh, we're going to pop to the shop in a bit and see what the collection fully consists of. Um, let's pick an outfit first. Uh, I really need some black skinny jeans, please. <laughs> uh, I quite like the bow still. And we don't need any Wellington boots anymore, so I think I'll go for sneakers. Okay, so let's head to the shop. Today, I would like to make a start on the town area, so the residen residential. I'm really apologize, I really can't speak today. I've got like such a tongue tie. Um, <laughs> Oh, Leaf is here to visit us today. Let's see what he's got. I wonder how long the camellias are in flower for. Probably need to double check. And then we've got our hydrangea. Hydrangea? Hydrangea. I do not know how to pronounce those. But we've got those in stock now. So I presume they are the next bushes to get into season. I usually buy 10 of each when leaf comes uh, and then just put them in my um, inventory in my house just so that when I'm ready to use them, they are already there. Definitely know that I want to do the hydrangeas uh, for my new town area that I want to do. Uh, I want to start breeding some hybrid flowers as well, so I've not been focusing on that the last few weeks. Oops, I'm supposed to check what um, flowers he has. I'm here to shop. So we have Cosmos, which I'm not really a fan of, and Roses. Um, pretty sure we've got Roses. I'll just get five of each, just in case we don't have any. But I think we do have some near the beach. I'm pretty sure my island rating is still two stars because I've not got enough flowers. But I'm so over just planting flowers for the sake of it. I really want to just take my time with the island rating. It doesn't really bother me that it's quite low at the moment because I know where I will get it in the future. That's it for now. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yes, Rhonda, how can I help? I have more reactions I can teach you if you've got time. 
One time I heard a tragic story that left me feeling terrible. Now that I'm looking back on it, I'm getting sad all over again. In case you missed it, that was an example of sadness. It comes in handy when you're down. <laughs> Great, cheers. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Phoebe, my favourite. Whoa, what is up, Wild Rose? I think you're better at this morning thing than I am, Sparky. <laughs> I agree. But how do you know, Phoebe, that it's not actually 11 o'clock at night in real life? <laughs> Some pyjamas in the shop today. Hmm. Comedian's jackets, I can definitely leave those behind. Ooh, I don't like any of the tops today. Open collar shirt. <laughs> no thanks. Humble sweater. See, that would be okay if the sleeves weren't like bell sleeves. Mind you, I guess that's kind of the standard design, isn't it? Oh, still no skinny trousers. Kind of like those chain pants though, at least it's another type of black one. Cycling hat, knit hat. Might get the grey knit hat even though we're heading in spring now. Oh, Nordic socks, okay, cool. And we'll get some white high tops too. Okay, so let's make a plan after we've gone to the shop. Wait, is it the resident services that they have this new Mario stuff? Or is it the shop? Have a look. It might be resident services based on the fact that you've got to order it. Okay, let's take a look. No, that's the wrong one. I wonder how expensive everything is. Now that is pretty. Those would look so nice in my town area. I want to definitely do a spring blossom theme. So that is gonna look awesome. Where are the Mario Kart things? I'm sorry. Right, they must be in the Nook mileage thing then. Right, I'm just gonna order five of these. Gone are the days where a New Leaf used to be able to order as many items as your pocket could fit in. Was it like 15 items or something? So annoying. Right, Nook Miles. <gasps> what? Where are they all? That is really strange. My my land, I feel like a kid core island would look amazing with all the Mario Kart stuff in. Um, but this island, I really want it to be like naturey, foresty, and yeah, the, the bright Mario stuff is not gonna work, so. Not too fussed at the moment, but I do actually want to find out where they've gone because that's just weird. I'll buy that little camp. double check what you need for purple pansies as well because I definitely need some more of those in my life. Right, nothing here for now. I can't believe the Mario stuff's not here. So okay, so like I previously mentioned, the plan is to make garden areas for these three houses and 
and then do like a nice path area um, like a little plazer kind of thing possibly here I'm not sure whether to push the cliffs back um, or just to work around it we'll see and then down here um, I would kind of like I mean I might I could break it off and make another mini island but then that just means I've got to add another bridge so I just want to be careful not to add too many bridges um, when I don't necessarily need to because obviously I've got four now so I've got four left I guess um, but yeah I want to do some kind of like natural park area here which obviously I will build up and adapt um, closer to when I've got like more furniture and things like that I might actually be able to get another house here okay. no. um, well obviously I could but it won't kind of go with the the line that I did I might just leave the three houses here for now and then see how I can Where are the rest of the houses and let's have a quick look actually. So we've got, I'm happy where Opal is, Dom is smashed on the beach and so is Chadder. Um, I will move Kit, I think who's over there, Kit's going to move um, at some point. And then yeah we've got Tammy, Vladimir I'm happy with at the moment, I'm happy with my birds at the top, they've got their own tropical island or island area. Um, so, yeah, I need to move Dom or Chadda just so that he's off the beach. Okay, so we've got Dom's uh, moving kit. I decided to choose Dom instead of Chadda to move him uh, just because Dom is my original villager. So if he can grow on me as a character, then I will probably um, keep him. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place his house directly next to Tammy's. Hopefully it will fit nicely there. Uh, no, that's not where I want it anyway. No, that's not where I want it either. Perfect. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> I think I know that it's right. Okay, so you'll have to bear with me in terms of like down, um, downloading, designing. Um, I sometimes am really spontaneously creative and then sometimes I really don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> so I hope that this turns out okay. Um, I mean, I could join this river up to be fair. Um, yeah, I might do that, actually. So let's, let's join this first and we'll get rid of that waterfall at the back. And then that way we've got a bit more space to work with as well. There we go. Okay, so... Um, we're going to do, I'm going to smash that rock and then do a little bit of time travelling just to get Dom's house in the right place. Right, it's the next day, I'm back and I am running right over to start my terraforming. Trees are looking even nicer as the days go on. You know what, I see a big fish and I'm like, ooh that could be something special and then I'm like, no, it's probably just a black bass. So I'm not going to be tempted to catch that. Let me smash this rock. I'm bothered to see if it's a money one or not. <laughs> no, it's not this time, which is good. Okay, so. Got the houses. Okay, so let me just see where the river is because.
Robert, check the time and help me out here. I'm thinking of baby you know, moving away from this island. Yes! And I told you you need your input. It's not that I don't love it here, it's just creating adventure excitement. Oh, get it! Thanks! I'm gonna make future me a better person and go and explore the world. Thanks for everything, Wild Rose. Take care of this island. I might think of these things. Oh, well, as soon as you're so cute, I'm making for you, but I don't think of you in scary thoughts because you are frightening villager. Okay, yeah, so I remember I joined the. Um. I not joined, I broke the river rod, didn't I? So. I have a couple of pictures in front of me for inspiration. Um, I want to do like some kind of like dirt path. Not dirt path, but like, I don't know. Let me just see if I've got the sandy, sandy dirt path. And then I kind of want to have like custom stones and I want it to kind of look nice and rustic and have all my trees out. Yeah, so like this kind of, Dirt path. So I kind of want to have like an area. So like around like this. Is that kind of like a circle? This is going to be one of those areas that's going to just look really weird until I've actually done something with it so you'll have to bear with me on this but I can kind of visualise where I want to go so I kind of want it to be all filled in and then I want some trees, cherry blossoms, I want some rock sculptures um, and plenty of bushes and just like a really nice kind of full up walkway um, and I kind of just want it to be where you can walk through it but it's like zigzaggy because there's like lots and lots of things going on in this area I hope that makes sense um, and then we will have the towny bit over here oh it's one of those things where you just think is it going to turn out okay or is it going to look weird potentially I might have to change my bridge because it's on a diagonal is kind of wow straight in is it not so in diagonal wow how weird okay i'm gonna have to also oh i haven't got the wooden one yet i don't know where the wood would look better Child book, book, brook, butterfly. I really apologise for the fact that I can't speak today. I've had a very long day at work, and <laughs> that's probably why I can't speak because I've been talking all day. Raja Brooks bird wing. Nothing else I'd rather be doing. Okay. Yeah, I'm so happy Tammy's leaving. So cool. Now we get to go on a village hunt. I just want this area to kind of look a little bit different aesthetically to the rest of my island. So that when you come over here you're like, oh wow, like residential area kind of thing. Uh, right, so. Dirt path. I think we'll literally do it like around here. Okay, I'll come as far down as that and then I'll go. Okay. 
I'm not going to bother getting rid of these spots because, mind you, I'm going to get rid of them because I'll probably I'll forget about it and then they'll end up staying there. So let's just get rid of a couple of these anyway. There we go, all done. Okay, so I think I'm happy with all of the corners, I think. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to put a few more cliffs, just to kind of tuck it in a little bit. Make it feel a little bit enclosed, just a tiny bit. random ledge here. I think we'll close it up to here.
Okay, so I kind of like the vibe that we're going for. So far, so good. Let's just curve these off. Okay. Hopefully, this turns out okay. We can definitely do bubbles a little garden here uh, and then we can work around this area that we've got now. Let's have a bit more path here. Okay, I feel like I am happy with the starting layout. Let me... No, I did want that square, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this video up here and I will carry on in a part two. So I really hope you enjoyed part one of making my residential area uh, and definitely look out for the second episode of this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.